everybody, it's Sam from Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to be showing you how to make a spinning tower fold card or a pop-up spinning tower card. I'm not sure. Basically it's using my tower fold dies. However, I do have tutorials showing you how to make this style without the dies. So I will link that up here as well, but the dies do make it much easier and quicker. So this is how the card looks. Now I do have it in one of my 6x6 box envelopes. Again, I will link this along the tutorial or at the very end as well. Um, just, yeah, it's a handy one to have and it's a great size box as well, just for other gifts. But this is how the card looks. Okay, so it's six by six. I kept it pretty simple on the front because when you open it up, you have this piece inside which will spin around. If you wind it up and then close it and that will spin and it's quite a dimensional flower. Can you see there? It's really, really cute and it's got all that shine on it and this is using the tower die. So this is the uh, effect. These are the ones that I designed. Absolutely love them. You can see the profile when it stands up there. And on the back, you have all the space there to be able to write your message. So it's pretty straightforward, quick to make. Let me show you how. Okay, so this is the die set, and this is the main six by six tower fold die. So this one will go through a standard cutting machine because the width of this is six inches, whereas a, I think the, the plates on most die machines are six and a quarter, but do check them. But if you're using a big shop, which is the most common one, then this will fit through in terms of the width. There is also five by seven in this version, but you would need a wider die machine. So you just want to cut that first and you'll see here I've cut it and it gives you all your score lines and all of these cut lines here. You can see how they look. Okay. Now before we burnish it, you just want to do an extra score line. So along the 10 inch side, okay, you want to score it five inches. So right through the middle. Okay, and that's going to allow us to be able to fold it into the shape that I showed you. Now also, you want to have a six by six card blank. So whether you've got a pre-made one, I've just cut mine because I want to use this cream colour. So this is a piece of 12 by six. And along the long side, again, I'm just going to score through the middle at six inches. So that's all the scoring done. Then a little trick here. I'm pretty sure it's from Marianne, who's in our group over on Mixed Up Crafters. All you have to do is you pop these out and then you fold them, but she showed a really easy way to do it. And if you pop your ruler in, so you go under, over, under, over, and so on. Okay, and then just lift the ruler like so. Oh, doesn't matter if it goes all the way around, let me get that out of the way. So you have this and it's done that fold for you or at least put it into that shape. And then just make sure the ruler's in the center, but you can see the score lines and just pinch it just over the tops there and then I like to just go in along the bottom here just to kind of make sure they're all in that position again along here just kind of fold them you can get your finger in there it's much much easier like so okay and then just take the ruler out and then all you've got to do you can just finish any others there that if you feel they need to go and then just fold the whole thing over and I'm using a 216 GSM cardstock like so. So I'll just do it again. Whatever you start with on this side, you want to do the same on this side here. So again, up, going over, under, and so on. And then again, just move the ruler. One way one may go easier than the other. There we go. And again, just going to fold it over. Okay. So that's that, and then you've got your fold. Now again, I've done exactly what I did during the live, but you might be better off. In fact, you will be better off. You need to cut your aperture, but you may just want to make this kind of style. And now what you can do is if you fold this in half, which is your card blank, you can pop this inside, you detach it either side, and you have this effect. So you might just want to have two panels, pop some sentiments on there, you can have that style. But obviously we want to cut that aperture. So before you do all of that folding, <laughs> you will want to cut a shape. I'm using a circle, but there's no reason why you can't use a rectangle. Ovals, it's entirely up to you. This one here measures at two and, it was about two and three quarters in diameter. Then I also use the next die size up and pop them together and then cut it again to get my frame because I'll be adding that on in a moment. But for this one here, you can see I've got it in the middle, but you can have it towards the top. I've actually opted for no sentiment in the middle of this. I want it to be more of a, a display kind of card. So the sentiment's on the front there and also there's that nice verse on the back as well. So, but if you want to have it higher up, maybe you want to put something down the bottom, you can. But I'm going to do the same. Now, you might also want to 
cut this at the same time because what I did, I'll link the Facebook Live because you may want to watch that version, it is longer. The Facebook Lives are about two hours long so we do chat and we talk all things crafty and food so uh, you may enjoy that. But you may want to die cut on here first and then do these ones separate but you just have to line them all up. So I think what I'm going to do is actually stick this one down. So these are the mats and layers that come in the stamp and you'll see them just here, okay? And you've also got mats and layers for the side pieces as well, which I'll show you in a moment. But what I'm gonna do first of all is just stick this down. I'm gonna use some double-sided sticky tape just because I'm using the mirrored card. It will just stick a bit easier. Okay, so I'm just lining up that beautiful paper and all the papers that I'm using today on both of the cards have come from this set here and it's the new first edition almost Christmas it's stunning so I've got that one so what I'm going to do is cut the circle first here and we'll score a line through the middle of this as well but I'm just going to lay that down in the center make sure I've got an even amount on each side I think that's about right so I'm just going to run that through my machine Okay, so that's cut through those two really well. And then before I score it, I'll keep that as well because you might want to use that for the front, you know, for the decoration on the front of the card. But now pop it back over this one and just with a pencil, I just pop it so it's in that center piece and then I'm just going to draw around pencil. And then I can now line up this one here and then I'm going to run that through my machine. Okay, so that's that all done and then I'm just going to pop all this back into shape again so I would do the cutting of the circles all first and then do all of your score lines but I'm just gonna just pop that all back in to shape like so and that one okay and then with this one here we want to score right through the middle so I'm just going to bring this piece back in so I'm just gonna bring my scoreboard back in so this is three and three quarters, so you're looking at one and seven eighths is where you want to score if you have the dies. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold that and then I can line this up. It's upside down, so it's got to be that way. And it will sit perfectly over that circle. And so what you can do now is you can either have your spinning piece, so this will be concealed behind this piece okay or you can stick it onto the back and you'll be able to see it it really doesn't matter I have been using hot glue so I think I think I'm going to do it so I don't know because if you put the hot glue inside there but the hot glue holds this I'm going to still stick with doing mine on the outside but if when I get to doing that piece you may want to wait and um you know, you may want to have it between these pieces here. So it's entirely up to you, I'll let you decide. But um, yeah, it really doesn't matter. I guess if you're having something that maybe isn't spinning, it's just kind of, just gonna be floating, then I would put it in between here. But because I'm having it spinning, so I'm going to be winding it up, that puts some tension and the hot glue is really good for holding that in place. And then I'm just going to sit that one right in the fold there and kind of fold it in half because that's how it's going to be so you might as well get it used to being in that position but make sure it opens up as well because that's kind of how it's going to be displayed okay then I've got my frame I'm just going to pop some glue around this one and you may not need to use the box envelopes if you don't add dimension like I have. My spinning piece is pretty full, that flower. You don't have to have it like that at all. So you may just want to have a disc just slightly smaller than this spinning in the, in the middle. I've done ones with snowflakes before and I've got ones with stars and I will link those as well. But now you've got that piece. Then on the sides here, so I have already cut the matte layers there and then I've done the stripes this is all from the same paper pad so I'm going to stick these ones down first okay so that's those done and then I have die cut all of these pieces which also the die comes in the set so it's this one here and I like to add the glue 
first so I just put a strip of glue and it's up to you, you might want to cover all of them, I'm just going to cover this side and this side on both sides but you can do all of the ones in there but I just like to do those just add the glue like that and then it gives you a bit of wiggle room you can just pop them on the sections there so I'm just going to stick all those down okay so that's that now all done next I'm just going to put together my flower so I'm using the Ponsettia flower now this is actually sold out the dice that I'm using which is this one here Simply Made Crafts and it's the ultimate Ponsettia I mean it was sold out when I last looked it could well be there so I'll, if it is I'll link it below but I've just used the smaller one there and I've just die cut a few of them and you'll see they've got this gorgeous shine on them and I'll show you how you can achieve that. I've got one here left to do and I'm just using the Luster Polish by Cosmic Shimmer. This colour here is the Raspberry Sorbet and it just adds a beautiful sheen over the top. So you just load up your little applicator here. It dries pretty much instantly. I am just going to use a pokey tool to hold it in place and then you just brush it over. They also do um, the Glitter Kiss and they do the Opal Polish as well and you'll be able to use those and get similar results but they all have different properties but now if I just take that one back off there so I can shape it give that a second to dry but can you already see all that sparkle? Absolutely gorgeous. I also die cut some in green and I've just inked them up so that they're a little bit darker and you also get the stamen detail as well but you can use any flower and I was saying during the live this doesn't have to be Christmas at all you could have a beautiful spring flower in the center or like I said you could die cut a disc in white so say that's your disc stamp a flower and put two of the discs together in between the thread when we get to that stage and then that would spin around inside so you know you don't and that's that will make it much much of um, make it more of a slimmer card it won't be so bulky so now I'm just going to flip that one over and just using a bulbarian any of these kind of shaping tools a lot of them are for um, cake making for shaping your icing I'm just going to shape that and it's a it's a little bit I guess damp it's the colors not coming off or anything but it just means that as this dries it will dry in that shape and it gets quite it's now turned it feels almost like plastic but it stays in that shape you can also spritz with water on the underside there as well but now that one's all done and I'm just using my hot glue and with these ones you've got a longer leaf I like to sit that opposite so there's the long leaf on this side, so I'm going to pop it in like so, and it should just sit. I think I've done that slightly wrong. It doesn't matter. But as you've got hot glue, just push it down, and as that hot glue dries, it will also help keep that shape. Okay, and then I'm just going to now use this glue here. And I'm just going to just pop that in the centre. And oh, I don't need those, I've got spares, so I don't need those ones. And then I'm just going to attach it to this one here, making sure you can see as much of the green leaves. That's about right. Okay, so I've done three because so I've got one for the front of the card, and then the two are what go in the center. Whilst that's just still drying I'm going to use I'm going to now just quickly cover the front of this so I've got this piece here so I've cut two pieces of gold that are five and three quarters squared and then this pattern piece is five and a half squared and the white piece is five and a half squared and I've just heat embossed that lovely sentiment there and that is from the crafters companion winter wishes and I've used that for both so I've got one there and one there this one says wishing you a happy and healthy Christmas New Year okay Again, I will link them below if I can find them. So this one's going to go on the front. And then on this one here, I'm using the Season's Greetings. And this is from a Simply Creative set of stamps. And you get the Season's Greetings and the Happy Christmas. And they're the same ones that I used on the front of the selection boxes. So again, you can see how the Happy Christmas looks there. And then like I said, this one is the season's greetings. And whilst that's just drying, I'm going to bring in one of them here with the green. And then I'm gonna pop that just at the top there. Okay, so that's the front. And then the inside's ready for us to attach the main die and then the back there, okay. 
Next I've got this thread here, now you can use some dental floss, you can use elastic, you want a thread that isn't a twisted thread because if you wind it up and then it unwinds it's going to unwind the thread and it just won't end up really working. This here is just, I don't know what this is called, you can just about see it on my hand there, but it's really strong stuff so it was perfect for this. I'm using the silver because it actually looks clear when it's on, but I've got gold, red, there was all kinds of colours and I think they were about a pound from the range. So what I'm going to do is pop a very small amount of glue just there and I'm just going to sit this thread right in the middle of that hot glue and once it's warm to touch I'm just going to flatten it. So I just bring it up now, can you see, you can hardly see it, just there. Okay, like I said, if you would rather do that inside, but it might affect the card folding because when hot glue does completely dry, it becomes very hard. So um, that's why I've kept it on the outside. Then what you want to do now is have this piece, make sure it runs right through the centre. You're then going to get your flower. So I'm going to get this one. Now you want it facing away from you. And I'm going to pop this one in there. Let me just trim this off because otherwise this is all going to get in the way. So you want the flower in the middle and you want to pull this taut. Okay, but it's gone, this thread's gone right through the hot glue there. So I'm just going to leave that as long as it's all in the centre of your aperture there. This is just how you would do it if you're using flowers like me. If you're just having these discs that are a bit smaller or something else and you can just um, use some foam pads that would work just as well but I do want to make sure this is really secure so that's now grabbed so I'm now just going to just put my finger on that because like I said it's warm to touch it's not going to burn me you've also got the little silicone fingers that you finger protectors that you see me use but make sure this is taut and then I'm going to add my glue to this piece and then you want this to sit perfectly in the centre. Now I've checked these flowers already work and they fit within this circle and obviously you've seen the other one I've made there. But again I'm just going to hold that in place. Okay so now it's just dangling which is fine. I'm just going to bring the thread now through to the back and keeping it, pull it nice and taut, you just want to put another little bit of glue just there and you're going to pull that again nice and taut and just hold it over that glue. Right, and then I'm just going to cut off the excess and now I can just fold that back again you will have your flower that will spin right in the centre they look so good, I'm so pleased with this I was really excited during the live okay and now we just want to attach it inside the card so I'm going to open this one up make sure it's obviously the right way up I'm going to use the Kalau now what I didn't do during the live and it does make a big difference is put the glue in these pieces as well. I just went and put the glue all down here, but it, it's good to pop it in there as well because it just does add a bit more stability to the finished card. Okay, so everything's facing the right way up, so I'm just gonna hold this on its side and just line this up with the edge of the card. And just hold that there for a second. And then I'm just gonna fold this one over and again, pop my glue down here and just bring up the other side okay and there's the finished card and you'll see now that spins in fact if I just wind it up okay and then look isn't it lovely and then when it stands upright it does just kind of just move around now you could put some lights on there people were talking about lights in the Facebook live you could put even more glitter on and when that hits the light you can see it really does sparkle but there you have it and then the whole thing folds flat. Obviously it has got some bulk to it because of the flower inside, but it will fit nicely into one of my six by six envelope boxes. I'm not gonna do it all up, so I'm just gonna take it back out again. But there you have it. So two slightly different designs on the front there. And then this one I've used the cream with the red card on the back. And then this one is using the cream with the, sorry, the red with the cream card on the back there. And I think they both look really nice. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's given you more inspiration for those of you that do have the dies. I'll link the dies in the description box below along with all the other information that you'll need on the supplies I've used and 
all these stamps and things like that. And thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.